Hey guys, Yvonne here at YvonneMena.com. In this video, I wanna show you how to track ClickBank sales on Google Ads. So this is incredibly important because not only will you be able to see the conversions in your Google Ads account for specific ads, for keywords, for audiences, all that, but you will also be feeding Google Ads data, which will help Google help you get more of those conversions and ultimately more of those sales. Now, just as a heads up, guys, I personally get about five to 15 ClickBank sales per day using Google Ads and not all of them show up. So maybe three to six of them show up. So definitely not the full amount. And that's because not only is Google Ads conversion tracking not super accurate, but in this case, there seems to be some issue with ClickBank where it's just not reliable all the time. So just as a heads up, this will not be 100% reliable. However, some conversions are better than none. So I'm gonna show you how to do this just so you get at least something. Now, before I get into it, guys, make sure to hit like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell icon so you get notified when I release more videos just like this. I do a bunch of different online marketing tips, tricks, reviews, all that stuff to help you become a better online marketer. All right, that being said, let's get into it. So we have to do several things here. So the first thing we have to do is create a conversion event in Google Ads, okay? So we have to really create two. We have to create an order form impression event and we have to create a purchase event. So let's start off by going to your Google Ads account. Let's suppose we are promoting this Ted's Woodworking product, okay? Let's imagine, uh, but this applies for any product. And by the way, you only have to set up this pixel one time. You don't have to do it every single new time for different products. You only have to do it once. Uh, so let's suppose this is our landing page, which we did in a previous video. This is the offer, okay? And this is our Google Ads account. You're gonna go to tools and settings. You're gonna go into conversions. And we're gonna set up two conversions, one for the order form impressions and one for purchase. So you're gonna click the plus sign here and let's start off with the purchase event. So I'm gonna click on website. And over here, we're gonna select purchase. We're gonna go from top to bottom. I'm not gonna spend too much time going over every single one of these options. I spent a little more time in my previous video and I also go over this in detail in my course on my website at evonmana.com slash old courses where I cover Google Ads extensively. So if you wanna know all of these in great detail, definitely take a look at those resources. But for the time being, we'll just go over the basics. So this is a purchase. We can name this purchase, for example, let's say ClickBank. Remember, you only have to do this one time, okay? You don't have to do it for every single product unless you create, of course, different Google Ad accounts and then different ClickBank accounts, that is an option. Uh, for the value, I will not enter a value. I can do this manually. So, you know, if I see that I got three conversions and I know that each Ted's Woodworking product costs 60 bucks, um, you know, I just do the math and that's 180, okay? So we can do it here. The issue with adding an exact amount is that if you are promoting many ClickBank products, it will differ, okay? So what you could do is maybe take an average and say, okay, well, on average, you know, I'm promoting 10 products, the average is 50. You could do that, but I think it's just easier to do this. You don't have to enter a value. The main thing is to send this conversion data to Google, and that's what we're achieving here. Next, we can say every for every purchase. So if one person purchases, you know, several products, several upsells, we want that data to be tracked, so we send more data. Everything else we're gonna leave as is. These are default options, I don't generally touch them. We're gonna click on create and continue. And yeah, so I already created this a while ago, so let's just say YT for YouTube and see if that's taken. Okay, so we have all these different options here. We have to do two things, okay? So the first thing we have to do is, like I said, add the purchase pixel to ClickBank. But if you have a landing page, okay, you have to do this part. So click on install the tag yourself and we have to add this code to our landing page. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy it. I'm going to head over to my landing page. I'm gonna to go to JavaScripts of my landing page and paste it here in the head section. And I'm gonna name it Google Ads base code. Okay, this is the base code. This is all you have to do on your landing page. You don't have to do anything else for your landing page. And uh, you know, I realize not everyone is using Unbound. Some of you guys were, might be using ClickFunnels, you know, lead pages. Uh, Insta page, Insta builder, you know, you name it. Uh, just find the JavaScripts option wherever it is. I don't know what you're using. Look for the JavaScripts option and add this code, this base code in the head section of your page. Okay, that's all you have to do. Add it in the head wherever it is. Okay, so that's the goal. And then we're gonna click save and that is it for this landing page. So you don't have to do anything else for the landing page, that is it. Now we just have to integrate Google Ads and ClickBank. So let's go back into our Google Ads account. 
We're now gonna click on use Google Tag Manager because it's gonna give us cleaner data. We don't have to dig through this, okay? So just click on use Google Tag Manager and we're gonna be using these two codes right here. So now let's go into ClickBank. We're gonna scroll back up to the top, click on vendor settings. Then we're gonna click on my site. We're going to scroll down to the bottom and go over here where it says add tracking code. We're gonna click that. And for the type, we're gonna select Google AdWords. As you can see, it's not, you know, it's not updated. Uh, AdWords was a while ago, maybe, maybe two years ago, I think they switched. And we're gonna click add. And now we have to enter these um, IDs, okay, these labels. So the first thing we can do is just quickly select affiliate because most of you guys are probably affiliates. If you are vendors, you can select vendor. But on the other hand, if you are a vendor, you probably don't have to do this at all. If you're a vendor, you, you can just add the code to your own page, right? You don't have to do it this way. So most of the time you'll probably be an affiliate and then you have to select both of these. We're not really concerned about the order form views. We really wanna track sales. Uh, so you can deselect it, but you still have to add this label for the order form page view, okay? So might as well select it, uh, even though the main thing we're tracking here is the sales, okay? So this is the main thing. So from Google, this is the first code we need, conversion ID. You're gonna go ahead and copy it, come back here, paste it right here at the top, okay? This is your Google Ads ID. Now this is not your Google Ads account ID. Don't get confused, right? Don't get it twisted. <laughs> this is your pixel ID. Uh, the conversion ID, okay? So two separate things, but that's what this is, your pixel ID. And then next you have the conversion label. So you're gonna go ahead and copy this conversion label, come back into here and put it under purchase label because this is the sale and you're gonna paste it here. Now, if you click save, it's not gonna allow you to save. And if you deselect this and you just say confirmation page, it's not gonna allow you to save. So it forces you to add this page view conversion, which is okay. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna click next, click done, and we're gonna redo the same thing for the order form page view pixel, okay? So you're gonna go in here, you're gonna say begin checkout, or uh, let's see if they have another one. Uh, add to baskets, like add to cart, that's an option too. So let's say begin checkout. We can say begin checkout for ClickBank YT. Again, you only have to do this one time, uh, no matter how many products you're promoting. Unless, like I said, you create different Google Ad accounts for different niches, which is something people do sometimes. Like if you don't wanna have one pixel for every single product, you can create different accounts, uh, different ClickBank accounts for different niches. You can do that, but it's not necessary to get this to work, okay? So we're gonna follow through with the same steps. We're gonna say no. Uh, we're gonna say every, leave everything else as is. Click on create and continue. You do not have to add this code now because this code is already added. This base code will be there no matter what event you, you add. So you don't have to re-add this to your landing page. Okay, that part is done. But you will go to use Google Tag Manager and now notice how the ID is again the same, right? Ends in 214. But we do need this label. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy it. Come back here, paste it here. And this is gonna be our purchase label for the begin checkout, right? For the order form views. So might as well select it. We're gonna click save and that should be it. Now, one more thing we have to do is scroll down and activate this pixel, okay? And that is it, guys. This is how I track conversions. Like I said, it's not super reliable, but it does work and it's better than nothing. So if you go back into your Google Ads account, let me quickly show you. Hopefully you watched my other videos, you know, you know, a little bit more about this. You should see a conversions column and you should see conversions here. So my conversions do show up for my click make products. I do see them all here. Um, and if you go to columns, if you don't see it, click on modify columns, go to conversions, and you can add all these options here. You can say cost value per, uh, or yeah, conversion value divided by cost, conversion value per click, you know, all these uh, pieces of information. The main thing is conversions. That's the main thing that you want there, and you have it here, and you'll be able to track conversions, your ClickBank conversions in Google Ads. This is how I do it, guys. Like I said, I successfully track conversions, not all of them, not super reliable, but it does work. It's better than nothing. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my channel on YouTube, guys. Uh, just go to Ivan Mana on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I cover so much free content uh, that you guys can find value in. So if you just go to my, you know, I have playlists here as well. You can go through, uh, if you're interested in ClickBank tutorials, just go through this playlist. You wanna learn about LinkedIn, use this playlist. Uh, you know, paid ad network tutorials. All that stuff, all these videos to teach you to become a better marketer, a better entrepreneur online, so you could work from home with just you and your laptop like I have been doing for the past four years. 
That being said, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.